What led a rehab doctor into exploring traditional Chinese medicine? Traditional Chinese veterinary medicine is a cool component to being rehab because we look for things that we're trying to provide pain management aspects. And there's really good research on a 5,000-year-old practice of Chinese medicine applying it to dogs and cats and horses and other animals to help alleviate chronic pain and to help with neurological conditions. Are you more of a scientific program or are you more of like the traditional Chinese program, I guess? I think I try to blend it all a little bit together. You have to take a fact that when they figured this out 5,000 years ago, they didn't have all these fancy tools like we have now with MRI and, and nerve conductors. Yeah. So how do we kind of blend those two? But my focus is in musculoskeletal and neurologic. So as a rehab doctor, I don't treat necessarily with acupuncture for chronic lung disease or things like that. I look okay. at it more for palliative care and for neurological problems and alleviating pain. So. If a general practitioner is looking into getting into Chinese medicine, because their clients are asking in it for it, because clients are asking for it more and more and more, they want alternatives, how would you recommend getting started in it? So I think that it's important to kind of get some good knowledge base. Whether you talk to a colleague in the area or you talk to a classmate, it's always good to connect at conferences with old classmates and old friends, see what they're doing. And then there's a number of different training institutes across the United States that provide different perspectives on how to train for that. So once you kind of get into it, it's about a year to two year commitment once you start the training process. Mm -hmm. So definitely get some good introductory lessons first. Mm -hmm. And if you had to pick one thing that you have seen the most benefit in with implementing acupuncture into your practice, mm -hmm. what would that be? Really for me, it's, a, it's an adjunct for pain management. So when I have these animals that are either maxed out on medications, traditional NSAIDs and gabapentin and opioids, and they're looking recently to alleviate their pain, that's where I'll bring in acupuncture. Um, so that's where I start with it in my practice and we expand upon it as we need to.